All your base Chris. Hello, all your base Chris here. This video is all about installing OS 3.2 on a Mister. There are loads of different ways to do it. I've come up with a way I think is pretty nifty because it's a good way of reinstalling without having to do lots of disk swapping. But uh, we'll crack on straight away. So I'm going to move over from uh, my big floating head to my Windows desktop. We'll get rid of OBS. And as you can see, we've got Windows windows everywhere. So uh, the process I'm going to do, uh, I'm basically going to, oh, if you'll excuse me, you need to go away. Ah, the process I'm going to do uh, involves me creating an HDF file uh, based on the CD-ROM media and then using that HDF file as installation media on the mister. You could, in theory, do all of this in WinUEA and then copy the hard drive across, but this way you can uh, just reinstall at your leisure without having to worry about any of that sort of gubbins. So I have WinUE open here. As you can see, I've got it running a bog standard A1200. Uh, we're going to change a couple of things around to make it do what we want. And so here we go, A1200, four megabytes fast RAM. We can safely ignore that for now and move on to the next bit, which is the CPU and FPU. Uh, let's do fast as possible. Yep, that's lovely, might as well. And because we're only using this for installation purposes, we need to change the ROM. So when you get your DVD or CD for Amiga um, OS 3.2, you'll see it'll have these files in it. This is the directory structure. Uh, it doesn't matter if you've got the ISO, this is a rip of the CD. So uh, what you've got inside here, we've got ADF. Uh, in the ADF folder, we have the actual ADF installation files, very useful. You can copy those to the mister and do a disk install if you want, although I will tell you it's pretty painful. Uh, but in, also in the ROM file uh, folders, we have the 3.2 kick ROMs. This is what we're looking for now. So we're going to open this up, go down to our DVD drive here, um, and we're going into the ROM folder. And we are going to open up kick A1200 because we're doing a virtual 1200 here. Now I'm going to hit reset, and what you should see now is the Amiga will boot up with a different kickstart screen, 3.2 to be precise. There we go, 3.2 run. And it says copyright, Ooh, we'll avoid the, who's got the copyright and all that because it's a bit of a legal minefield. So what we need to do now is we need to actually mount the CD drive as if it's a hard drive. Trust me, there's a reason to, there's a method to my madness. So dead simple, in WinUEE, you want to add a directory or archive, device name can you, you can just ignore, select directory, and then you literally just select your DVD drive, select folder, and then hit OK. What this is going to do is this is going to mount the CT drive as if it's a hard drive, which, believe it or not, is bootable. So we'll get into that. Now we need to create an disk file for mister doesn't have to be particularly big uh, 100 megabytes should do it so we'll hit create and then we'll just um, I don't know I'll call it we'll replace the one I've already made from the previous attempt uh, so this is now called 3.2 install I'm gonna hit OK now if I hit reset this should boot up using the CD image as the installation medium and it we we'll call it the Amiga pre uh, pre install environment it's pretty clever actually Welcome to the Amiga pre-installation environment. Excellent, okay. We've got RAM disk. This is the CD drive with the installation media on. And here we have a blank, uh, ready to be formatted disk image. So we'll format that. Now this has to have a particular name for it to work. And it has to be named the same as the CD. So in this case, the CD was called Amiga OS 3.2 CD, okay and we'll leave it long file names and we'll hit quick format yes format everything okay open up here open this up we want to show all files and then we want to select contents and then we want to just drag it into here this process shouldn't take particularly long but it'll take a little while and so uh, I'm going to come back once it's finished the copying. Actually, I didn't need to do that because it only took a few seconds to copy across. Ah, see, CPU was set to maximum speed, which sped everything up. So now we have a disk image. Uh, 
showing 73% full, 26.7 megabytes free. So 73 point uh, something and change. Oh, it's, uh, I've managed to pause it there. Seventy-three point three megabytes in use. I don't know if that's some kind of misreporting, but uh, we'll soon find out, won't we? So we'll do show all, and I'm going to say that's got everything on it. Okay. Quick way of finding out: hit F12, and this time we're going to remove the CD drive, which is I, and we're going to change this to DHO. And then if we hit reset, what should happen now is it should boot up again as the pre-installation environment, but this time it's booting off the HDF file we've just created. And there we go. I'm going to make sure the name's correct. If I hit install, start here. Yep, that seems happy. Okay. You'd get an error message saying that it was it had the incorrect name otherwise. Right. We're pretty much done with WinUEA now, if you like. Uh, what you could do now is you could install this to a image file in WinUEE and then copy that file across to your and boot from it. But we're going to do things a slightly more, perhaps ob the obfuscated way, but we're going to do the installation on the Mister. Now, do you remember where I saved that hard, hard file? I do, luckily. 3.2 install. So here's my Mister itself, uh, connected via WinSCP. And so we're going to drag that hard drive file across it there. Now, I have a blank hard drive file ready to go to receive the installation as one gigabyte. I'm going to spare you the process of creating and copying this across because it's the same process I did to make the 100 megabyte file earlier in the video. So we have an OS 3.2. One thing we do need to copy across the Mr. though as well is we need to go back to our drive, which I've unmounted somehow. Luckily, I've already extracted everything. We need to go back into our ROMs folder and we need that kick A1200 ROM. That needs to be copied across the Mister as well because you're going to need that on the Mister to be the kickstart to get everything rolling. Okay, why don't we, just for fun, move across to the Mister now? So here we are in my Mister. I'm going to press the button and we are, are going to use our KVM to change over to it. Excellent. And we fire up the Amiga. Now my Amiga is set for a box standard A500 with scan lines, so we're gonna to have to change this round ever so slightly. It's audio and video, let's get rid of those scan lines. There we go. Because that looks horrible otherwise. Nice and quick, dead simple this. What we need to do is go into system. You need to change your CPU to 68020, leave Dcache off, change your chipset to AGA, give yourself maximum chip RAM, maximum fast RAM, let's go all out. And now we need to change the ROM to the Kickstart A1200 that I copied across a minute ago. And now we go to drives and we need to remove any drives that are on here first. Obviously I've got Mega AGS, love Mega AGS, but we're not using it now. Primary master needs to be your 32 install HDF that you created a moment ago. Your primary slave needs to be the empty drive you want to install it to. And I think that should be ready to go. If I now hit reset, this should now boot into the pre-installation uh, pre environment, but this time it's on the mister. Hello, please excuse the jump cut and sudden change in camera angles. Uh, my, uh, Main camera just died on me, so I thought I'd finish off using my good old-fashioned mobile phone. So, uh, yeah, anyway, uh, where was I? Yes, we've now booted into the uh, pre-environment install malarkey on the Mister. So, first of all, we have system here. This is a completely empty hard drive image. And then we have the Amiga OS 3.2's CD install. Double-click into the install directory. Double-click start here. And then we need to open the install 3.2 disk icon, which has just appeared on the uh, desktop here. Go into install, and we're going to install English British, because why not? Proceed. I'm going to install 3.2. Of course I am. I'm going to say I'm an intermediate user. 
install for real yeah why not and i want to install in system oh no i don't not, i do but not that one press the wrong button in the system dh1 proceed proceed yes install everything yes i want the lot i know it's just a case of waiting for the installer to fire through you'll see how quick this is because it's actually just installing from hard drive to hard drive rather than all the floppies this time look how small my head looks with this this angle i don't actually have a pin head you know i'm, I'm normally have a, it's it's fairly uh, if anything i have a slightly bigger head than normal so we'll just let this proceed and then once it's finished we'll come back And we're done. Now, obviously, uh, I could have done this with the floppy disk method, putting the ADFs into a folder, but uh, I didn't live through the, the age of loading games from tape to then spend my life in 2021 uh, swapping virtual floppies. Right, so installation release 3.2 is now complete. Uh, all we're going to do now is we're going to... Well, this is a bit naughty, but I'm going to do it anyway. I'm going to unmount all of the images <laughs> while it's still running. <gasps> And then we need to change the primary master to OS 3.2, which is the drive that was DH1 a moment ago, but now it's not. And then if I hit reset, we should boot into a nice shiny OS 3.2. And here we are. You can tell it's 3.2 because it even says as much on here. And we've got the nice icons, and it's very low res at the moment, but uh, we can soon fix that. You'll be pleased to hear that my RTG floppy uh, works with this, uh, including the shared drives, RTG mode, and it does work, and it works okay. So that's fantastic news, and uh, got loads of things to play with. So that's uh, one way of installing it. Again, you can have done, you could have done all of this within WinUEA, and then copied your HDF across, but. I might as well have the installation media on my mister in case they want to reinstall from scratch. Well, there you go, OS 3.2. Lots and lots of fun. I'm looking forward to getting dug in with this. But in the meantime, I'm going to say goodbye. Thank you for your patience. I look forward to seeing you again sometime in the future. From me, all your base, Chris, I'd like to say thanks again and bye-bye.